<laughs> okay? So he's going to put his hands good, on either side of the ears. He gets his fingers close to the shoulders. That's a good marker. Your index finger or middle finger is kind of touching, grazing the tips of the shoulder, uh, tips of the deltoid, the shoulders. So first thing you're going to do, lift your hips, slide away from your head. So your body starts to slide down, literally slide the body down. Yeah, good. Then hips lift again, chest lifts off the floor, head is still touching. Okay? Hug the inner thighs, pushing into the hands, squeeze the elbows in, chest lifts up. So do you see how the momentum is sort of this swinging up and over? He has to use his legs to open the back bend. He's going to actually, for him, hug the upper inner triceps towards each other a little more. And you notice how that gives him more bend here? His lungs are super open now. Beautiful. Okay? This is why it's hard to breathe. Do you see where the tip of the pose is? It's right at the diaphragm. And so if you're feeling, if you're feeling something difficult in life, or if your diaphragm from chronic overuse or misuse is really just locked down, it will be very vulnerable because you will feel like you are unable to breathe. Okay? But this also is what will free the lungs. See how his serratus is turning on? He can drop the hips a little lower. He's got great ability to do this because of the mobility of the spine, and he can actually get the chest to open more when he does that. Same here. Chest peels open more. Beautiful, baby. Now I want to come out. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm done. Now I'm finished. <sighs> okay, so all of you are going to try some version of this. Okay? Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Helps to be able to see it too and see it.